From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. The busy stretch continues for police detectives. A second body discovered here in the Capitol in the past 48 hours. This one found in a well on the site of the New Providence landfill by a worker there. Police are calling it a suspicious death for now. They're still dealing with the discovery of the body of a man off Prince Charles Drive earlier this week. He appeared to have stab wounds. They're still not sure who he is or what happened to him. Police have several murder investigations to deal with, dating back almost a week. They have filed charges against a 16-year-old boy in connection with a recent double shooting incident in the Garden Hills area, which left a man dead and a woman with gunshot wounds. The woman at the center of the high-profile rape allegations made against immigration officer Norman Bastian has died. Reports say 35-year-old Claudia Edwards had COVID and died at the Princess Margaret Hospital the day after she gave birth last month. The trial against Bastian completed except for closing arguments. The charges against him do not go away because of her death. Her estate will continue those proceedings. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Bimini residents have been put on alert after 11 confirmed coronavirus cases showed up there on Monday. Residents urged to intensify safety protocols. The cases linked to a resort there. Health officials are following up. Well, I'd ask the, uh, the acting uh, chief medical officer to dispatch a team down to Bimini so that we can get a better sense as to what is going on. Once they would have sent down the surveillance unit that's going to do the con- requisite contact tracing, it gives us a better idea as to exactly what's going on in Bimini. That's Health Minister Wells. Still plenty to do for health workers. Still more than 600 active cases, close to 40 persons in hospital, and five of them are in the ICU. Cabbage Beach vendors say they are still in limbo about returning to work on the beach. Talks have been going on to try and reach a settlement on this issue, but so far there's been no agreement. Weather officials watching two systems off the African coast heading in this general direction. They could develop. Not expected to be a problem in the short term. Today's Tribune has your hurricane guide. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, an upper level low in the area, generating some unsettled weather. Partly cloudy, showers in the area, highs in the upper 80s, 87 at Freeport, 88 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next higher on one this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies expected tonight. Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s, and showers could be around. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines the death toll from North Florida condo collapse is now 11. Another body found and the search for others continues. Officials running out of hope, though, that they'll find anyone alive. It's been almost a week since the incident. 149 persons remain unaccounted for. Several countries now putting some restrictions back in place following coronavirus surges linked to the Delta variant. Half of Australia is back in lockdown. Bangladesh is now in lockdown due to a surge in cases there. And there are some cases developing in Japan as they prepare for the Olympic Games. China's ruling Communist Party will celebrate its 100th anniversary tomorrow. President Xi will give a major speech to mark it. 
Tribune's gas track of prices, middle of the week, no changes. Shell 509, SO 507, Rubus $5.01 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on Wimbledon. Serena Williams is out. Find out why. John Quell Jones back in the WNBA after the Europe trip. Find out what she did against Washington last night. Our Davis Cup tennis team begins play in Panama today. Get the preview. Latest on Major League Baseball and the NBA playoffs. And get the very latest on the Olympic Games and the preparations for that. All of your sports details you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 